We're back. Sit up. We're back and we're brought Good to you by boy. Cuervo. Jose Cuervo, man. The best tequila around how good, Hey, Liam, how good is it? It's freaking good, man. It's made with 100% agave tequila, dude. Heard of it? Heard of it? Probably not, because you're a layman. And because most tequilas, they don't got it like Jose has it. No, 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 they don't. And they got some new stuff, an awesome new tequila that's perfect for shots. I'm talking about Cuervo Cristalino. Cuervo Cristalino. Wait, I've had that stuff. I thought I was drinking from the Fountain of Youth. It's my go-to for a, for a high-energy night. Yeah. You put... You put you put Liam Culler and Will Angus in a room, and you set down a bottle of Cuervo, Cuervo Cristalino. You, I, I mean, you you better be rolling with the punches. You better be, you better strap in for a long, fun night filled with whimsy and charm ever, and adventure. You better be able to take it and give it. And you know what, Jose Cuervo is all about fast forwarding friendships. It's true. So you sit in that room with us, have a couple shots of tequila. You you're coming to my wedding, buddy. Yes, you know. You're it's my Chris. best friend. It's Christmas morning, and I'm uh, I'm unwrapping a gift you gave me. I had a really fun time at the comedy show you hosted the other night, and it could be because of your comedy, but I think it's because no! of Cuervo. Well, that's it's the, the thing about Emily is that Jose Cuervo has actually brought us closer to Emily because without a few shots, she's unbearable to be around. So Thank you. And uh, I didn't mean that, Emily. Jose Cuervo only makes us better friends than we already are. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much for sponsoring the podcast, Cuervo, we really appreciate it. And now here's a quick word from Game Time. It's time to game. Snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app and create an account and use code Almost Friday to get twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code Almost Friday for twenty dollars off. Download. Lowest price guaranteed. Download Game Time today. And a quick word from. Dad Grass. Right now, Dad Grass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash almost Friday. Go to dadgrass.com slash almost Friday for 20% off your first order. That's dadgrass.com slash A L M O S T F R I D A Y. Impressive. And let's get into the episode. You look like you've been crying. Yeah. Oh, the bags? No, no, no. No, your they eyes. Look like watery. Really? Mm hmm. Maybe I have been. You'll never know. I'll never Tyler, sh- shut the fuck up! Pull him in here. Get him on the pod. Tyler! Tyler! Last night... Oh, boy. I had a dream. Go Last on. night, I had a dream that I had a full beard. <laughs> like, nice. I woke up with a full beard. I've had those. And I'm not kidding. My first thought was, this changes everything. <laughs> and I feel like my life would be so much easier if I had that a beard like that. You know what the only difference is? Is that you can just let it go for a while if you want people to, to know you're like not doing well. Yeah, that's you true. can do that. You can just be like, I'm not going to shave or trim it for like months so people know that I'm like in a bad patch. I think with how you and I operate, it'd be pretty obvious to people, even without the beard, how we were doing. No, not for you. You always kind of have like a little brightness to you, at least if you're. What the fuck are you talking about? I I was going to say, like... He's doing a bit. (laughs) (laughs) If you stick around for a few minutes, it's fine. But, like, you walk by... You see Angus walking in the street, you're like, oh, he's he's going fine. But if he had the beard and there's all... You know, the hair goes up almost to your eyes, he's not doing well. I have the jawline of a starfish, so I would really like... What does that mean? Have you ever seen a starfish? Yeah. Have you ever seen the jawline? No. It's not good. (laughs) Starfish? Uh, I think it's just non-existent, is what he's trying to say. Thank you, Emily. Uh, Let me see. Turn to the left. Turn to the right. You know what you can do, Liam? You can gua sha. What's that? Have you ever seen those like little stones that little that girls use and they just go like this to their faces? Jade rollers. Oh, that's supposed to change your shape of your face. It's like the same thing. Mm. Yeah, if you do it every single day, you get a jawline. But I I don't have the patience. I don't think that's right. I that doesn't sound right. No, I swear. That's, look at you. Look up before and after. No, so that sounds like, like a penis enlargement. I'm not adjacent kidding. Go thing. on TikTok. Everyone does it. I just need to drink less and work out more, and eat. That right. you could also. Oh, do, you know what? You, you know what actually. Up. What actually does help is if you like drink a lot of water. Apparently, like just like the like, f- like the but you have in your up. face goes away if you drink a lot of water, and then I don't know. I don't know, man. What uh, what were you saying? Skyler's all mad. <laughs> Uh, no, it's just he's a giant Grateful Dead fan, and he saw him twice in the last month, and now he's like, I'm just, I'm just so pissed, like, fuck, 
Right. No, he's he's mad at us that we're going to be able to j- enjoy He's it. really, uh, I don't think he's mad at anybody. He might be, but I think he's mostly just mad that he's... What if we surprise him with backstage passes? He would. I I, I don't know if I want to give him that power. Well, like, we, it, it would be, just have be to very pay good for, He'd him. have to pay for it, and he'd have to ask John Mayer for it. And he'd have to... Yeah. So, he'd yeah. He'd have to be their cum pig. Yeah. Well, no, he would do that, for sure. He would do that. Walk around on all fours with a bucket around his neck. Yeah. He's already done that. Bucket gets heavier and heavier every time. Guys Slowly right. but surely. Those are my Crentis fingers. These look normal. Well, they're Rick's fingers. Yeah, yeah they, are, they are Rick's fingers. Let me yeah. see. Rick Mater. Rick is the man. What else is going on, Tyler? What's going on? Your, what's going on? Did that girl ever text you back? No. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to shout her out on the pod? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. See if see if we can work some magic here. No, let's not do that. Do you ever get you getting scared they're gonna die alone or something? I got over that. Okay. And that's just gonna happen. You're not scared of it anymore. No, I'm not scared of. I'm scared of death, but I'm not scared of dying alone anymore. So it gets easier. Mm-hmm. Um. Good. What is good? It? These guys don't have any material for this, and they're trying. To, I don't. This have, is every episode. No, I got well, I do. yelled I'm at to come in here. To leave. What the fuck? So I can and be the, myself. What? What the hell? Oh, Bro. What? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Emily. What the hell, man? You're the uh, one that texts me on the weekend. Like, do you know anything fun going on? I have no friends, and then you're just trying to talk. <laughs> no, shit. I didn't say, oh man! I didn't say, do you know anything fun going? No, I didn't say. <laughs> pull do you. up the receipts. Pull up the receipts. Yeah, right. pull it up. I didn't say. Do you have any? Do you have anything fun going? on? I said. Do you want to do? Or, or said? Or I said. I asked him if he. Uh, I asked him if he wanted to hang out. Let's see what it said. I, uh, or are you doing anything fun? Um, and can I join because I have no friends? I like that that was probably really hard for Emily to send that text. We're just <laughs> absolutely taking a yeah. dump on her head. Well, she's the one who just said, I'm waiting for you to leave so I can be myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You have friends here, don't you? Not really. Uh, I have like one. Who? That you met the other night. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> she, she wasn't cool either. Sure. Uh, all right, <laughs> should we do this? Cut that. Kidding, she's nice. I don't. Yeah, I didn't yeah, meet her. Yeah, read it. I didn't read it. We don't have to. Yeah. Read it. 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 She goes, "Are you working today?" And I said, "Yes." And then I wait a little bit, and then go, "Was there a follow up to that?" <clears throat> she says, "There was." If you were to say no, might go to waterfront. Was going to see what your plan was because I have no friends. So that's then called. I ghost that's her. called. Um, I didn't go. She was kidding. And you're 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 a pretty big man for throwing that in her face. <laughs> you are. I hope you uh, there's about there's that. one thing that people need to know. That's about how me. Tyler operates. He has he has a six shooter fully loaded for everyone. <laughs> well, now I'm just never gonna <laughs> so ask at him all, to hang out anymore. At no, all it, times, you don't realize it, no. but Tyler's holding a revolver to your head, and if you say anything you don't like, he's gonna pull the trigger six times. He sits <laughs> at home and he writes the most uh, personal insults he can find, and then. Writes them down in his little notebook and he I, carries around like the death note. He, he has a filing cabinet in his head. He tells me he'll stand in the shower and he'll think of like, <laughs> ar- he'll make up arguments no, that he and I, I, I don't, have uh, and he'll be ready with, in case I <laughs> say that, he'll be ready with facts. All right, that's all right, but there's one like glaring mistruth to that is that you're acting like I'm choosing to do any of this. No, <laughs> it is, I know. It is something in my childhood. You chose that, to pull it, up it, those text messages. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I didn't. This is what happened. Is that... Any, so anyone says anything mean or whatever to me, I immediately just go, like black out and say something mean back to them because I'm so insecure. So you said something mean, and I'm like, well, that's because you blah, blah, blah. Like, that just happens. No matter. I didn't choose that. No, I now we're down the, the path. Way, I actually do the same thing where I'm like, <laughs> really where I'm like in the shower and I'm thinking of like someone saying something at work and I'm like, the gall you have to say that. Well, what about this? And then I, I kind of come to and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's not. And then I have I confront that person in real life, and it was, no, yeah. everything was okay. <laughs> I've mapped out a conversation between me, Max, Jack, and Kenward and Edge about me hitting someone in the office, <laughs> and, me, and me backpedaling out of it, not getting fired. <laughs> I, uh, I practiced it. Yes, on Monday, I like when I like was talking to Billy and Chet about the entrepreneur thing. Like, there was one thing that I said that I was not. There's one thing I said I was wait, mean. Wait, 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 before you tell this, air out that, air out your grievances. Air out, out the boo. <laughs> yeah. This is why you have me on, just in office drama. I, I forgot about no, that. No, <laughs> Billy, and, Billy and Chet went on, uh, you don't know this, they went it's on insanely, uh, chill. insanely Chill, Cody Co. Okay. Heard of it. And Did they not give you a shout out? No, no they did. It was, it was nice. It, they, they did, they did uh, they're talking about everything they do. They talked about YouTube and they like, 
shout it out, nice stuff. And then they talked about entrepreneur for like 15 minutes and they didn't mention me once though. And I don't care that they didn't like compliment me, but like that was my entire idea to that whole thing. And I was listening to it and I'm like, are they purposefully like it was, it was, I asked them to do it. Like I, I had the idea all mapped out and everything and they were acting like, you know, they weren't acting. They just they were just on a podcast and didn't know what to say. But I was yeah. so I was so personally. I think it's mad. pretty clear they were just so nervous. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not mad at them anymore. I never really was. I was just like freaked I was freaked out and mad in general. And then when they came in, I just like immediately just started yelling at them. Yeah. And uh and it was all fine. Like it, I wasn't actually like going really hard at them. There's one thing I said that I that I didn't even feel like I had control of saying. And then it was when we were all sitting down there. And uh they're like, yeah, like, you know, we didn't, uh, like, we didn't mean to do that, of course. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I wasn't, you know, I don't, like, need it. You know, it's all good. But then they kept going back, and they're like, well, Billy didn't do it. I'm like, yeah, because you were talking over him the entire podcast. Yeah, that one, that one was, <laughs> and, and, that one made me uncomfortable. I had no, I didn't choose to say that. <laughs> I missed that, fuck. I didn't, you were sitting right there. <laughs> don't worry, we'll we'll cut all this from the app. Oh. If we bring Billy and Chet in here right now, maybe it's not so bad. No, it's not bad. This is funny. Okay, we'll just ask them if it's okay. I just I have, a, I have a I have a um, I have a. I asked Billy last it. week if it was okay if we talked about his penis because you wanted to cut it, and he said it was okay. It's fine. Everyone's fine. Get I'm those, not fine. You guys never. Those, you guys like never check up on me. I'm get not those fine. things out of my fucking. Emily, life. shut up. Oh, you guys never check up on me. You guys never come by my house and be like, "It's." The, well, I actually I, what, drove by your house the other day. Like to go to the basketball court or something, and I, I like try. I was like peering in. I'm like, this is weird. So I just stop. I uh, did you see me? Mm-mm. I show up at Will's house every day, like the scene in Goodwill Hunting. Uh, but instead of wanting him to move out and find better things, I want him to kill himself. So that I picture me smiling, and walking home when I see a fire truck outside of his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> It's more like the town. Every time you show up to this house, you're like, we need to go do something, and you cannot ask why. I haven't seen the town. That's the corniest scene of all time. It's so corny. It's so... F- Every time... I remember I watched that movie in middle school, and I was like, this is the greatest movie ever made. Mm-hmm. And then I watched it in high school, and I was like, it's pretty good. And watched it in college, I was like, hmm. Watched it this year, I was like, this sucks. <laughs> Don't shit. the Celtics coach watch it like once a week or something? Fucking idiot. <laughs> I hate that guy so fucking much. <laughs> Missoula? He was like, yeah, man. <laughs> this is so corny, man. He's like... 34 or something. Yeah. That's fucking, why. We need an old mean guy to coach the fucking Celtics. Yeah. Get a guy. An old mean guy. What do you mean by that? Elaborate. Like Red Hour old back. Mean guy. Like a Doc Rivers would be good. Oh, okay. What no, do you mean? I, you, you mean well, Red knowing Hour you, back. I thought I knew what you meant. What? White man. A, yeah. A, like, dude, if we. You just, want Pat Riley. You want Red Hour back. If we found just a, a guy that was in the, a pipe fitting union in Boston that was like 60 <laughs> He just lost a bunch of money, and now he can't retire, and he's super pissed about that. that he doesn't know how to coach basketball, but he knows how to lay bricks. And he knows how to lay bl- bricks and yell and scream at black people walking by him. <laughs> <laughs> just the, the real racist Ted Lasso. Yeah, yeah. That'd be fucking good, dude. That'd be a good show. Uh, Tyler, what's the worst basketball coach you ever had? That I ever had? Yeah. yeah. I, big I'm not going to name him, but I don't know. There's no... Anyway, the guy in high school, he was... Uh, he was six foot ten, played overseas, but that was clearly the only reason he was ever good. He was he was not a good coach. He uh, he basically like I don't want to talk. I actually I'm not even kidding. Like <laughs> in in high school, like we uh, my senior year, like I I, I almost, like you know I was like thinking about oh should I play like D two college basketball? I was getting like I played AAU my junior between junior and senior year, and it's like getting some looks like things are going well and then senior uh the game start our four, first four games I go four and oh I average like 16 points a game and I'm feeling great and then uh our basketball team in our high school is like our worst like sport like our football team won uh, states twice our swimming team won uh states girls and boys the last 22, 22 Didn't years Ryan Lochte go to your school? No, uh, Ryan, Ryan Murphy what's and it, Caleb Dressel. What's the name of your high school again? <coughs> Bulls. Oh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And then our soccer team won states. Oh, once. That's, our baseball team that's had where Hayden. John Hurst. Bowles comes from. John Bowles. Yeah, different spelling, though. Wow. By a little. I saw a TikTok about your high school last night. Really? Yeah, Hayden Hurst went there. Um, 
he played actually he's a he was a star baseball player it wasn't even he played football too but he was like a sick pitcher oh really yeah, he played baseball in college and then switched to football that's crazy um yeah we have like a lot like a lot of great football players uh went to the nfl like not like big one like not like not Wait, like, you not the, like caleb dressel but are you the same age as hayden hurst no he was a freshman as a senior um but you were trying to hang out with him nope no i, I don't think i ever really talked to him no it, like so some of his friends are like really big fans of of this place, so they'll DM. That's why we almost d- try to reach out to him. But uh, point he being, follows us. The, That's cool. the point of the story was uh, our football team went to states, and then when they came back, we had been we were four and zero, and they came back and joined the team. Like really athletic dudes, like really guys that went to the NFL. Like three guys that went to the NFL came and played. But they sucked at basketball. They're just super athletic and like just want something to do. The coach put them in. We went one and twenty the rest of the season, and and I like barely got the ball anymore. I mean, I like still I still played all right, but like I was shaping up a pretty good year, and it just I was so mad. I was so fucking. I was like I still am. I was like thirteen years ago or something. Were you, um, were you jock? No, no, no. Give no. a Letterman jacket. No, no, I was the opposite. But I only played basketball, and I like went home and played like NBA 2K and made videos. Like I did, I didn't go to a party in high school. I don't think people who did cross country deserved a letter jacket. Did you? I agree. No, definitely not. I, I don't even think we had letter jackets for anything other than football. Well, we did because we had forty kids a grade. You're Texas, all, all white guys. Like Texas, I feel like letter jackets are really important. If you bought one in my high school, you were you were chastised. Mm, yeah, like if was, I remember seeing, just by you and your friends. Yeah, well, like no, probably everyone. Uh, Liam probably ran his high school. No man, I was a freak. I was a freak. <laughs> when All I right, did cross on. when I did cross country, we would run the trail. You did do cross country, but not like varsity. Oh. Like I didn't do it in high school. Mm. Whenever I would run the trail, this is a little insight about me how I operate day to day as a human. We would run the trail, and as soon as I got to the parts where the parents couldn't see anymore, I would start walking. <laughs> That's cool. It, so funny, like all the kids that were in my tier, mm. like in our little group. So funny to see kids just start walking and keep checking over their shoulder, <laughs> and the other kids running by, and no one talking to each other. We're all just like ashamed to be even around each other. It's like the fun run in the office when they go around the corner, I'm just get in the cab. Yeah. We had this kid, oh, fuck. I forget who started it, but they would just throw on letter, Letterman jackets and then do, like, fake bully characters. So these kids would just burst in the library and just go to a random kid the computer and be like, what's up? We're handing out swirlies. Who wants one? It's 20-something comedy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was 20 All right. You asked me if I was a jock. Do you want to see what my, like, sophomore year photo in high school was? Please. He's just going to show us a picture of his penis. No. That's your erect cock. Holy shit, bro! No man, that looks like me now. <laughs> that looks like an, like you were like actively. This guy using averaged heroin. sixteen a game the first four. Yeah, you were doing heroin in the Dunkin' Donuts bathroom. I Tyler was the nicest kid we ever knew. <laughs> no one expected this. That's fully what it was. I, I, ne- that, I could see that photo being on TV. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, that was close. That's. But then I discovered comedy. Did you go to prom? No. No dances. You had braces sophomore year of high school? Mm, got them off then. Uh, no, I, no I, I didn't go to any parties, nothing. Just made, I've made 60 comedy videos <laughs> on a channel that will never be discovered by people. Hey, I didn't go to parties either. Damn, you think you're as, you think you're as, as depressing as me? No. <laughs> um, no. I did go to one. And I was, and, oh, fraud. And I went to one and I was like, kids, kids. I didn't drink though. Yeah, kids held him down, put cigarettes out on him. <laughs> <laughs> and spit in his mouth, make him Shut swallow the stick his ass. I partied on the toilet. What? Oh, at lunch every day? Yeah. So you, when but... did you have friends? I like... Okay. You don't have them now and you didn't have them then. No, College? I had them like um, junior and senior year and um, like sophomore year was when I really... And then you're hanging... And then you were best friends with Zion Williamson. In high um, school. No, that was the college. Not oh. best friends, though. Anyway, this is a fun outfit you're wearing. This is very anti-Tyler. It's all I got left. You gotta do laundry. Oh. No, I went to... I told you, Scotch and Soda. They got the the place going out of business. Is it still them. going on? I don't know. 
maybe uh, a couple more days. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, nothing sadder than, we were talking about this, nothing sadder than a business going out of business. And it's this guy's, like, massive investment. And like then these the, vultures the, swoop in. No, that one's pick not and clean. That That's one's like a, yeah. a chain thing. It's just that that location. Uh, Mom and pop business going out of business. Because then they, they do like the sale at the end. And it's like everyone's so happy to be in there. And then they're just at the end of there. We got to do that. That's It's very similar to the depressed garage sale. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. What would be funnier? Uh, no, Mom garage sale is good. Mom right. and pop going out of business or garage sale? No, garage sale. Garage sale because this guy's personal belongings. It's like... This thing, like, like the things that he can say about those things are way sadder than what someone oh, can say yeah, yeah, about. Yeah. Dude, you just see a box of children's books, and it's an old, old guy in front of the garage sale. It's, it's tough. It, he's got toys and shit in there. I'm like, these are probably fucking filthy. Speaking, dude, did you see it? Did uh, Jason make you watch Life Itself? No, he watched sorry. it. I don't, don't, move, never mind. I don't even want to talk about it. I started watching last night. Really bad movie. Jason liked it though. Um, it's up his alley. Okay, yeah, this garage sale thing. No, we can't. We don't want to spoil it on the. That's true. That's true. Someone will take it. Don't take our garage sale idea. We're gonna Wait, have to you cut hear that. my story. Yes, story time. Taking a quick break to talk about game time. Every time I want to go to a, a concert or any any event that is ticketed, I realize last minute that I don't have tickets. Yeah, try to go to Lakers Clippers game. Good luck, dude. A scalper's gonna suck you dry. Oh. Clean your wallet out. Unless unless you go get tickets with game time they've got the lowest price guaranteed i tried to go to the clippers game with my gal with tyler and we waited too long download game time boom we're sitting eight rows behind the bench are you kidding me what? with a great price what what the heck watching my freaking mavericks play yeah watch kyrie irving's debut because yeah. i had game time watch the first time he ever played as a dallas maverick because i had the game time app yeah, I think I'll be a repeating customer. Yeah, I'd say so. I actually use Game Time because I got lots of men asking me to go to the the games recently, and I say courtside only, and then I make them sh- pull up the Game well, Time app, and then they, Emily, that's because you're a courtside girl. Yeah, you're not. You're not section one, section no, two. I'm you're not. courtside. And, and guess what you could do on Game Time? You could you could I have them pull up the seats so you could see the seat view, and if I don't like that view, yeah, I'm saying no. Bye. To that date. Bye. Bye. Talk to another girl. Snag the tickets without the stress of Game Time. Download the Game Time app. Create an account. Use the code almost Friday for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. But again, create an account and redeem the code almost Friday. One word for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Okay, so I was in Miami last week, and um, a couple years ago, I was in Miami for a work trip at like the first company I worked for out of college. And I went by myself. It was like a photo shoot for a wine brand. And I went to go scout the location. And then I went to this place for like a drink afterwards um, by myself. So it's like sitting at the bar by myself. And um, there was this like old man, literally like 70, at least 70, um, like grandpa, fully grandpa sitting nearby and he starts like sparking up a conversation with me and he's like with his friend who's like maybe like 40 so um i'm like okay at least like his friend's here and it's not just like this old man like so i'm just like entertaining it because i'm like what i don't have anything better to do and then he ends up like buying my drink and turns out he like lives on his sailboat he ends up letting me use the sailboat for the shoot so like i got extra shots of the wine whatever on his sailboat super nice um he, like, texted me once or twice since then being like, oh, like, are, are you coming back to Miami? Whatever. Obviously, I knew he was, like, flirting, but I was just like, you're weird. Like, you know you're never. And he, he always said that. He's like, um, he would say, like, oh, I call, like, girls your age, like, my daughters because I could never, like, <sighs> whatever. And so <clears throat> I just, like, was like, okay, great, great opportunity. Nice to see you. Goodbye. So anyway, like, three years later, I'm in Miami this past weekend. No. I go. For 4th of July with my parents, we just get some food. And I'm, like, pretty drunk. And I just thought it would be, like, funny to send him, like, a photo. At you are <laughs> you are an attention whore. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. No, but it was more so, like, a, like. No. You had to have hooked up you, with him. For no. It to be. Oh, my God. I mean, that's God, the only no. way it's not a mean no. thing. You, you, you had three glasses of wine. You wanted to be chased. 
No, no, no. Nothing wrong like, with oh, that. No, 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 I'm not, I'm it was not more so like I wanted to be like, I wanted to be nice because of like no, the you fact wanted, that he you wanted had, like, to feel pretty. Why is that no, nice? No, no, I wanted him to. No, I didn't like. <laughs> no. No, I just wanted him to. That's a good way. It's a chase. I, no, 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 no. You I don't be pursued. want the, I don't want the attention from a grandpa. What I, but what, I you just want attention feel, in general. No, I wanted him to feel like you know that him helping me, like you know that I still remembered him, and I was like just sending him a hello. Oh, I remembered you. Just wanted to like he probably thinking about you. Completely you know? forgot about. He you, probably though. just got over you. Yeah. Well, he could have been dead for all we know. Like we just don't. He was that old. Like. So I just, I don't know, I was drunk, I thought it would be funny. Like, it, I wasn't asking for attention. I wasn't asking him to be like, oh my god, like, miss you. Like, I was just like, haha, like, I'm at Monty's again. Um, do you remember me? Like, that's li- all, literally all I said. You showed so up and approached your parents. And so, <laughs> five minutes it. later, He's there. I see him walking into <laughs> And I, I just go to my parents, I go, guys, remember that old man I told you about that I met here? He's here. He's here, and he's approaching the table. I'm so 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 sorry, but you gotta just go along with it. Like I'm so 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 sorry. And he sits down at the table with me and my parents. No. Sits and and he's dripping sweat, like just he ran. <laughs> dripping sweat yeah. as if he's. I'm imagining the guy at the end of Uncut Gems that helps her in the casino. The guy's like has like completely like tan skin. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the guy. He's. I, I look like, I look at my parents. I'm like, I am so sorry. And it was so awkward because I was like, I don't know what to even talk about with this man. I was like, Did you tell your parents? Oh yeah, I sent him a photo that I'm here. Yeah, and then what um, did they say? You're an idiot. After after he left, they were so pissed at me. Yeah. What, um, what was he saying at the table? He like my dad. Thank God for my dad. He really just held the conversation, and I immediately was just like looking over the waiter, like, Can we just? Get like, I'm like, dude, get the fuck away from me and my family. Nobody likes you. I like, I didn't know what to do. I felt so bad. I was like, oh, it's so good to see you. Like, um, how is everything? Like, it was just, so, it was the most. And he would, we would. There were m- many minutes where we just sit there in awkward silence. Nobody was like, like, get the fuck out can, of here. Pal. Can you read your text to him? The one that I said. The that one that you made sent. Him walk yeah, over. I said it. I bet it's crazy. <laughs> I bet it's like, like, <laughs> like I miss you. Yeah. Like, no, it wasn't. It was literally just. <laughs> I miss Wait, your why smell. did you guys sit with him for so long? I'm confused. Be- he sat down at our table. Why and wouldn't we you go? Food on the table. Get out of here, man. Nobody because likes he you. Because he was a he was like a really old grandpa man. Who what do you gives mean a mean fuck, a sweet, dude? Sweet old grandpa man. You don't dude. know he's sweet, sweet old. Yeah, old people fuck children. People forget about that. That is true. Yeah. People You're forget. So right. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. Like, what was I going to say? Like, Can you just read it and then we'll talk? Know. All I said was, back at my for the first time since meeting you, have you forgotten me? Uh. <laughs> you <laughs> left that part out. I, <laughs> said, I said that. No. You, I, you can cut oh back to the part where I said, did man. you forget about me? Oh, All right. Now now read it again. But now oh, read it again. Shit. Read it again. Are... No, no. Just read it at the same time, same way, but whisper it. Yeah. No. That's how he read it. No, yeah. no. That's There's how he... some weird people that are going to DM Emily if she does that. Whisper it, Emily. <laughs> Emily, are, dude, don't ask Emily. Do <laughs> Have you ASMR. forgotten me? Don't ask her. No. I feel like it's that movie Past Lives. We get like... a lot of requests in the DMs. Don't ask her, people... don't ask her to step on little gerbils, hey, did you guys crush know... them. Don't ask her to step on bugs in between her toes, crush up ants in between her f- fingers. Did you guys know about the gift that got sent to the office for me? Like hold on, me? hold on. Don't you dare try to switch this up. Yeah, you fucking are. You're you're. <laughs> You you're mean. That's a mean thing you did to that guy. I don't think it's mean. I, I think it's oh, just in, in this situation. Yeah, you're you're flirting with this. You're 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 flirting with this old man. I did you not like, flirt. You yeah, are, you did. A guy, an old okay, guy, goes, yes, "Come on, my sailboat with me," okay, and then so, you go with him, and then yeah, you're lucky. You no, didn't I was with other people. Wait, 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 wait. I need to see the photo that I sent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a little casual selfie. Oh, oh you knew it. Oh, you knew it. Oh, I, knew it. I, I knew it. It, it wasn't even, a sexy I selfie. No, I didn't, oh, I didn't. to him it was. <laughs> yeah. That's the hottest. He probably... He, he, <laughs> has, <laughs> like, he, has, he called his grandson over to print that picture out for him <laughs> and help him frame it and help him figure out how to put it on his desktop background. I didn't even think it was going to be Dude. a selfie. I thought it was be like of the restaurant. I didn't even think you'd stupid. I know, well. and then afterwards, well, I was drunk. Nuts. I wasn't thinking, and I was in the middle of like a combo with my parents. I was like, ha ha, like thought it'd be funny. Didn't think anything of it. You and wanted, the, you wanted him. To... I had to have this whole conversation with my parents about like, 
you don't realize like what you're doing when you send that like why would you even send that what were you expecting out of that i was like you're yeah. right like yeah. obviously you're right but i just like who like that you're asking know. for trouble because you are that I know. Thirsty for a little bit of attention. I will, okay. I hate I Emily. Swear I don't blame. Life. I wasn't asking for attention. I just thought I it'd be funny. I, I think. I believe that you believe that. <laughs> I yeah. I'm, that's yeah. not why you did that, but that's cool that that's what you believe. I think you should. Really I swear, learn. my entire. I know. I know. Life. That's we know. That's what you believe, but that's I know. not why you did it. Yeah. I I I completely believe you. Do you think that? But what? Oh. But you did that for. Is attention. this what gaslighting is? No, no, no. We're like. No, we're guys, right. I we're swear. Right. We're Why right. would I want attention from a grandfather? His attention's go, nice. Go so see what? a therapist. So what? Yeah, why? Do you really think I wanted him to come there? <laughs> no, or, I don't think you wanted no. him to come. Or respond and say, you look sexy? Yeah, yeah, you did. No. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Nah. I'm not saying at all you wanted to hang out with this guy. I'm saying. Yeah, why you, would I want to hang I'm out not, with Nobody's him. saying that. I'm saying you wanted him to text you nice things and invite you nice no, places. No, no. And then you wanted to come on the pod and complain about it. No, 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 no. Well, I'm glad you did it for this. I had a really good time listening to it. But, wow. man, I would not do that again if I were you. Well, I've clearly learned my lesson. I don't it's know. very unnecessary to just do To, to tease an old man so ew, you can use a ew. sailboat. To tease, <laughs> to tease a man whose wife's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so you can maybe go on a slutty wine trip on a sailboat with your five of your fucking dumb friends. Nice. <laughs> Okay, you know what? You know I'm, what, though? I'm, I'm busting your chest. I know, but you know what? <laughs> Us girls, we go through a lot of things. We bleed out of our vaginas once a month, and we have to pay for tampons for that. And we just, regardless, Th- we I have think to get pregnant. That's why I so you're... if we can use situations like this to our benefit, like, we will. You're out of your gourd. Yeah, what? Okay. You said all that, but then you can't complain about everything that happened. That was all fine because you basically obviously, told him to I come learned, down there. Obviously, I'm not going to complain about. Like, I don't think she's complaining about it. Okay. I think she's, I think I I got what I deserved in that situation. Yeah. Okay. I That's think this true. is a very right. funny. And I story. did not like it. And I was uncomfortable, but like karma's a fucking bitch. That like, might have been best case scenario. What happened? I learned my lesson. Yeah. I mean, worst case what scenario, if, he like would have like said goodbye and then like put like a tracker on your yeah. back. Or he something. definitely yeah. he brought a gun. Yeah, <laughs> he did not expect to see mom and dad there. How hard? How hard do you think he was sitting down at that table? Oh my! Ew! Stop! 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 Well, please, can we not? Can we not? Dude, he was. He was probably fucking. It probably hurt. That's how hard. No, he was. please, please, no. <laughs> it hasn't been hard in ten years. My no, he hasn't been hard so since upset. the last time you were on his boat. Yeah, I, if I was your, if I was either of your parents, I'd be pretty upset. They were so. He had a bunch when of like, you old on Viagra's the... like Quaaludes and his yeah. like no, fucking, got... and he like took them all. He, got, when he like... went down to the restaurant. I was always sweating. False teeth, crack them open. <laughs> oh. um, when you went on the boat to do the wine shoot, yeah, who was on the boat? It was me, the photographer, who was a male. Yeah, he didn't like that. And <laughs> yeah, model. He had to completely reroute his his, <laughs> his course. Yeah. No, it was right where we were supposed to be shooting. Well, he yeah, well, time. he it was not gonna be. What? He's gonna. Yeah, he invited me into this submarine and <laughs> the implication because of the implication. So. Let's take them out to the ocean where they can make rash decisions based on fear. <laughs> I'm so upset that this happened to me. You did it, though. It was, I know, you're it right. Was, uh, that la- sounds so uncomfortable, um, and that sucks. Hey, uh, that your character you did on here that we had to cut because Emily didn't put you on screen has like five point something million views on TikTok. That's great. Uh, but honestly, I'm happy because like, it's better. my version wouldn't have gotten that. And your oh, you dude, your, the, the yearbook oh. video is like six million. Is it really? Yes, <laughs> it's insane. I got so many fucking messages that were like, "This is really disrespectful." Um, there's nothing I hate more than the people on TikTok who their whole channel is like duetting videos that they've already seen. Here, I'll show oh, you. Oh, and they I mean. act like they're seeing it for the first time. Yeah, but like they don't add anything. It's just this. Damn, that doesn't do it. Oh, right. they just watch it, basically. Dude, we should do that for the Zapruder film. <laughs> Wait, what's well, the Zapruder? The JFK assassination oh, yeah. tape. See if, hmm? It's his best. <laughs> it's his best work. Dadgrass, oh, no. guys. It's wedding season. Every season seems to be booked up with engagement brunches, rehearsal dinners, and ceremonies. It's it's hard to get a second to chill uh, without being so high you fumble the big toast. Dadgrass, though can help you chill out and get in a euphoric mood while keeping your head clear. I don't know really smoke anymore, Liam, but ever since I discovered Dadgrass, I, I, I've been dabbling. Yeah, you dabble. 
Dip a little dip bit. Dip your toes in. Only with dad grass because it's like the only thing that does not give me anxiety. It's very low in THC, very high in CBD, so you can enjoy uh, enjoy it without uh, you know without the panic. You get a clear head. You know, it's it's very good. Not looking to toke. Dad grass also has offers finest tinctures and gummies on the market. All the uh, mellow goodness, no smoke required. I do be liking their gummies. Me too. All dad grass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over. That's very cool. And it ships right to your door anywhere in the U.S. And it's T- TSA approved, which means you can fly with it. I flew with it and I have not gotten in trouble. I have been liking their gummies the most, I would say, recently. Um, really good flavors. They actually taste really good. You yeah. can't really tell that they're... I almost want to eat them all as a candy. Yeah. If, it, if you're looking for a new buzz or just a chill way to enjoy an old favorite, Dad Grass will leave you in a euphoric mood. So right now, Dad Grass is offering our listeners 20 percent off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash almost friday that's dadgrass.com slash almost friday for 20 percent off your first order that's dadgrass.com slash almost friday let's get back into the episode thank you dadgrass wait this will be out next when's that when's this out? comes out next thursday also it just came it already came out then oh sick oh, oh yeah. yeah uh that was a great shoot yeah that was that was <laughs> tyler yeah. didn't direct it but came, he though. was he was there. Dave Redman directed. Good for him. Good Sam, it was nice when you walked in. It was a good it was a good moment. Why? It was like it was like uh, felt like we it felt like it was open gym um, at the Bulls and Michael Jordan walked in. It was like when, <laughs> and it was like when when the the coach of the team gets fired for hazing, even though all the kids really liked him, and he shows up to a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <after. laughs> yeah. Um, he's all chill. Cause but yeah, hey, Sam Sam Brown. Yes. From Why Does Kids You Know. Shout out to Dan St. Germain for uh, connecting us. Oh, that's great, how you... Yeah, great great comedian. He's so funny. Yeah. I yeah, didn't, we, I we didn't realize... Some of him when he comes. He's going to come out and do a special, I think. Uh, oh, nice. We should do some of them. Yeah. I didn't realize that was the Dan you were talking about. Mm-hmm. Sam Brown was everything Still I Still got it, dude. Yeah. Everything. Well, it's crazy. It's like um, we, we improvise a lot when we do the shoots, mm-hmm. but like... Half the stuff we don't use. Everything he improvised was Perfect. usable and hilarious, and it was the he said it at the right moment. Yeah, he's, it was uh, the pro man. Yeah, he still does a lot. I mean, I didn't realize how much live stuff he's done and does. I didn't know how much. Yeah, oh, he's doing uh, live stuff. Yeah, stuff? I mean, it's like like really all like at, before like t- the internet, Instagram, TikTok. I guess like you know, it's like you did live comedy because there was no place to do it mm-hmm. unless it was on TV or YouTube maybe. So it makes sense that all those guys from that era were doing like live comedy. So mm-hmm. they were doing a weekly show, weekly live sketch show with new sketches at a comedy club in New York for True. two to three years. I'm sure they were. That is, sounds unbearable. Uh, it, Dude, yeah, but that'll just carve you out into an absolute fucking yeah. beast. Yeah, he didn't miss a beat, dude. He, he, uh, also, just extremely nice. Yeah, you know, like I was worried, like you know, this guy is like kind of like someone you look up to and stuff. It's like he could just be, he'd be, it'd be, no one would bat an eye if he was just like I'm better than y'all. But he was not. He was just no. super nice. Yeah, um, I was so happy. He was that cool. He followed me into the restroom, <laughs> and I was taking. Ah, I probably shouldn't say it on the pod. Never mind. He was nice. He was really nice. <laughs> um. That was yeah. That was fun. That was a that was a solid. One. And then the one today is doing well. You mean the one from last week? Sorry, yeah. God, you're an idiot. Fuck. Fuck. Right now. Yeah, whatever. That was a great shoot. We already talked about Billy's pee pee. Oh yeah, we did talk about that. Oh yeah, yeah. I got I got to get over that. Over where I just where I just snap on people when I feel threatened. Why? Why? You're already, it's not good for me. What you, Everyone has like flaws. A, you got, you got like you got you got like forty years left to, <laughs> to figure that out. Yeah. No, no, I gotta. I also, gotta, people every every time in the Monday morning meetings, whenever Ed anyone says anything to me, I just like yeah, snap that's them in front all, of everybody. Well, it makes me uncomfortable, but no one's actually offended. <laughs> oh, that's fine then. Um, fuck, what was I gonna say? Fuck. People wouldn't put up with it if you weren't so dang nice and uh, fun to work with and friendly. That's going to (laughs) change. Okay. Anyway, um, my my released here. Am I good? Or do you Mm. you want to talk about more? Show me the tip of your penis. And then you may go. No. That's all I got left. Touche. That's all I got left is that secrecy. 
Um, Every penis is like a fingerprint. What if that? What if they made like? I feel like that could be like a Friday beer thing. Like, if you, everyone here, like if we're just open door policy. Everyone needs to see everyone's penis, so we're not hiding anything. Hmm. Who do you think would be in charge? I know that I would be a barnacle attached I'd, to this operation. I'd, they'd put a vent, right, I'd be a vent worm. They'd put me right in the front lines. And they'd be like sprint at the enemy. Yeah. Liam would be a good like, if it was like a hazing situation, he'd be like the, um, what do they call him? Oh, like the like pledge master? Yeah, he'd be a pledge master. You and I would be the... What the fuck are you talking about? You're the pledge master because you love all, the bully. All I know is you, dude, you are so you Friday beers. It's not even funny. <laughs> I'm so Friday beers, dude. You were the. You were I'm f- always having beers on Fridays, and I yes, dude. What one thing I love to do? Drinking. Come on, suck down. Yeah. <laughs> I throw in a DJ press play track and I come and suck down on Friday afternoon every week, dude. <laughs> um, that's my life. Hey, there's one guy I wouldn't want to give power to though. Here, that would be just. It'd just be scary. Jason. Yep. Oh, dude, he would clear house. He would. He would this would, would turn into Jonestown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, dude. If, would, if he had a, if we knew he had the biggest hog, um, or Heaven's Gate. Take your pick. There's a ton. Heaven's Gate. Everyone castrated themselves. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Heaven's Gate's the scariest one because they found him in that like, they found him in this like compound, and everyone's in like the bunk beds covered and they think that they like teleported to the meteor above yeah honestly it's good, super scary good riddance what we didn't need any one of those people well, those could have been that's the nicest thing they could have done <clears throat> to society is collectively gotten together and killed no themselves. that's true it is true it's true that like what if you have crazy right people like that like what do you still want them around or not like no uh, i was gonna make a better, joke no it's better that yeah. they buy a bunch of nikes and kill themselves that's the that's the why buy part. nikes that's just what they did. Yes, yeah, which they didn't. Oh, if they, they didn't the support because. child labor, it would have been a little better, but it's fine. That documentary is like, at first it was sad, and then I was like, yeah, if none of these people killed themselves, they'd end up fucking a kid. Or like doing some weird Yeah, thing. that is true. They would do something. Or, or, just spread, or just spread the information. Like, you know, it's like, at least there's not more of them. Like, it's over. Yeah. It's like, th- that could be the a huge r- religion now. No. That was, they were fucking nuts, dude. Actually, who yeah, knows? Name. All right, you want to do a character? Yeah. Do you want me? Do you want me? Is it a three person? Or yeah, it could, this Damn. can be a three person one. Also, I, I my, did. I'm lobbing mine to you. Okay, because I got, I got nothing. So here's my character. But again, I do have a really good character for next week, so it's gonna be good. This is Johnny. Come on, this is where I'm in my element. Johnny Drywall. Nice. And we... Lazy. What? Lazy. <laughs> How is that lazy? Y'all, y'all okay, just, y'all just you do fuck, nouns. He fucking names the character Lunch. That's he calls genius. Johnny Drywall that's lazy. Genius. Lunch is better than just Johnny and then a thing in a house. Lunch you know? is ahead of its time. Okay. <laughs> All right, this guy's name is uh, Bulbous. Pretty good. <laughs> okay. So you're Bulbous. Sweet. And we all work at a morgue together. Nice. Okay. Okay. All right. Tyler, can you look at this one? Yeah, one sec. Do you notice what I'm seeing? Uh, Every, you see that? Every body we've brought in in the last month has a bite mark right out of the the belly, right above the penis. That is odd. Hey, Bulbous, come here, because you're new. I want you to take a look at this. I want to get some fresh eyes on this. You notice that? What could this be? What could this come from? With all, wait, hold on. All of them have the bite marks. Wait, in the last, in the last, in the last like month. Yeah, what's? What's that? Well, right. have you have you noticed anything on the night shift? Because you're the only one here. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> what? No. Hmm. I haven't noticed anything. It's weird. There's. Do the do they come in with the bite marks? Because you. Yeah. <coughs> Is... 
Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they've been coming in with the bite marks already on them, and I thought that was just like something. I noticed it's not on the report. Yeah, I'm gonna though. check the news. Is there like a serial killer that like, yeah, bites probably? But when the bodies come in, we have, you know, oh, all the. Yeah, I'm checking the photos. Though, when you take the photos, and they come... no, they don't have them. Is there like animals loose? Yeah, they don't. That could be like, is there but like an animal loose? Or these something? are human bite marks, though. Is it? Maybe it's like a. It's like a feral human that breaking that's breaking in the middle of the night. I don't know. A feral human. What's like a? I think a. It could be. What if it was like two to three mice? <laughs> at once, I don't know. Um, I'll figure it out. Though. I'll figure this out. I'll those it. mice don't have teeth that big. I'll those on. are chunks bitten out of the bodies. Bulbous. Well, you think those are mice? Uh, Maybe they are. I don't know. I don't know. I did. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I'm just like. <laughs> give me a second here. Okay, I need to call down. I probably need to call an investigation. Yeah, yeah we should probably call involved. an investigation. I mean, I'm sure. There's <laughs> so, pro- well, let's... there's probably um, like the saliva we can track with the DNA. Yes. Like, we'll, we'll get to the bottom. Good call. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll do that. I can do that. <laughs> I can do the investigation and stuff. I got this. I could check the saliva and stuff. Uh, we should probably handle that because we. Have I worked. can. Yeah, I'm going to start the report right now. Yeah, start yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. That's good. I'm going to call the police. Hello, police. <laughs> It's good, yeah. Tell them. <laughs> You're on the way. It's fucking. It looks like. All right. What? <laughs> Bulbous. What's like? What are we gonna do to the guy that won't? <laughs> I don't know. Probably arrest him. And is it a crime? Is that a crime? Defiling corpses. Oh. Big time. Also, ah. well, so, well, was unrelated. I've been noticing the, the company fridge. You have not been eating your lunches. Yeah. Are you, are you trying to lose weight mind, or something? Do you mind throwing those out? Because yeah. they're all going bad. Yeah. Yeah. I, um... The stuff looks really good, too. You're not hungry? Well, I've, I've been making peanut butter and fluff sandwiches, and I keep forgetting that I'm allergic to peanut butter. Peanut butter and what? Fluff sandwiches. <laughs> Mm. Butter and fluff sandwiches. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's like. Do you think like. Uh, There's also. This is weird. I've noticed that on the lower back, there are like kiss marks all over, like red lipstick. Like, I mean, someone would have to reapply a lipstick each time when they went to the next body. Also, every single corpse has a tongue ring now, weirdly. What's up with that? It's you know what? It's probably just nothing. That's gotta oh be the end of it. That's gotta be the Cut that one down a little bit. <laughs> no, 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 no. For a clip, but yeah. people like the longer characters. Oh, <laughs> this is great. It's probably just nothing. <laughs> I was what, are they, like, what are they going to do to him? I was actually thinking, like, how would I actually talk about way out of this? <laughs> I was going to admit to it, but I was like, really, what? Probably just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll jet. All right. Hey, that Bye, Tyler. Bye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Tyler. Tyler. Now I can finally be myself. I'm not snapping right now. I got, uh... You get character? Yeah, it's... Well, this is, like, I don't even know if I can act it. I was just thinking about something really funny. It's not really a character, but just picture uh, a guy swimming back to the boat after he couldn't get up on the jet skis. <laughs> or like a kayak or something. And he's like, because everyone's, everyone's in the boat. Like, come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. And after like 15 minutes of trying, he just sits there in his life jacket and he's given up. And then he's like... The walk of shame back. Yeah, I just thought that's so funny to just not. I went jet skiing once, I couldn't get up, and I, all my friends, you know. Oh, that is a bummer, dude. Um. All right, I got, I got, I got something here. BetMGM. You know we get all of our picks with BetMGM. You use the pro promo code. Pro. Be pro. <laughs> You're one of my good friends, man. Yeah. Use the promo code BEERS to get up to a $1,000 risk-free bet on your first bet. That's a, that's a crazy fucking insane deal. I was at the UFC fights recently, used it. It's awesome. 
Easy to use promo code BEERS for up to $1,000 risk free bet in your first bet. You got to be 21 years of age or older to gamble or bet. And if you do have any addiction problems, there are resources available to you. Also, only be betting with BetMGM in states where sports betting is legalized. Bet responsibly, guys. Come on, but it's very fun. And uh, that promo code is fucking crazy. Use it. Beers. BetMGM. Thank you. Let's get back to the episode. I'm Garish the Brave. Okay. You're Emma the Decider. The Decider? The Decider. What are we, just knights? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're Something. medieval... Some powerful figures. Yeah, it could be like Game of Thrones. Like maybe I don't even know. Okay. Uh, and we're, we're foes, and we see each other in the woods, and we haven't seen each other in a long time. Okay. Garish. Emmon. We meet again. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been ten fortnights. You know, I can't let you walk away again. <laughs> I'll walk away unscathed. <laughs> The child's death was not my fault. The child's death was not my fault. You were arrogant. You took no precautions. I did what I had to do to protect the masses. You didn't have to. That child was going to grow old to kill millions. I saw it. It was his destiny. How could you possibly know? Did you speak to the artificer? Some cleric... I am the artificer. 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 Do we die here today, Emin? You are the decider. I decide that today your terror on this planet is over. You're right. Did you just slit your wrists? Yes, Emin. What? Why? Whoa, dude, you're bleeding a lot. Hey, Garish. Garish. Hey. Whoa, hey, man, you're bleeding. Okay, hold on. I did this for you, Emin. Why? I can only be one. No, this is not honorable. Garish, this is not honorable. Oh, my God. Here, put, get some leaves and patch that up. I can feel them. Feel who? Oh, my Souls God. Souls of my ancestors. They wrap around me. Oh my god, we're so far. There's, there's no way I can help. I, there's no way I can help this. Goodbye, Evan. Okay. Oh god. What do I do? Garish. Uh, Garish. And that's that. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> I had, I didn't have anything. I just was baked. All last. you had was the song. No, I didn't. I just looked that up on YouTube. All I had was uh, Garish the Brave and Emma the Decider. <laughs> That's all I wrote. I didn't have anything else. <laughs> My notes last night were ridiculous. Sorry, I, I should have. There was more I could have done. No, there was, there was nowhere to go. Uh, I got. I also. I have other names, but it's just like. All I could think about last night was fucking names, dude. I'm sorry. Uh, names are often. Good starting points. So this is let's. Yeah, I'll try this out. I'll try out this scene. I don't. It's gonna. I wish I had something funnier for it. But uh. Mm, yeah. Okay. I'll I'll try this out. I'm Anton Grown. Okay. Thoughts on that name? Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's awesome. And you're Duke Frenzy. Ooh. Are you kidding me? And uh, Carla came in swinging. And Matosis went at you. Okay. So we're we're two parents. Now, what's your first name again? Anton. Anton. Anton right. Grown. And uh, our kids are the same age. They're friends. We're just two dads. You take us out in your boat, and you're driving the kids around tubing, and uh, you're driving way too fast while my daughter is on your tube. Okay? Okay. How you doing back there, kids? Ready for some real waves? Hold on tight. Yep. <laughs> Watch this. I do a little spin move. Yeah. Jo Jonah loves this one. Oh. You might hand me a beer. Yeah. Thanks, man. Here we go. Come do on, it guys. the other way. All right. Kick it into third gear here. Yeah. Oh, now we're picking up some steam. Yeah, they're going fast. Hang on, kids. 
Oh, they're, yeah, they're hitting, they're, it's getting a little choppy. Yeah. Um, yeah, this part of the water is really choppy. Yeah, this is, well. Going a little faster now. That's, hey. Wow, we're approaching 75. Yeah, slow the fuck down, man. My daughter's on that tube. 80. Slow the fuck down. Why are you driving the boat that 85. fast? 85. There's kids in the fucking tube. Hey, slow the fuck down. 90. Hey, slow the fuck down. 95. What the fuck are you doing, man? They're off the, they're, they're off the tube. They're not on the tube anymore. 99. Pull, turn around. They're back there somewhere. They fell off the fucking tube. I didn't know this thing could go 100. Turn up. What are you doing, man? Turn around. My daughter fell off the fucking tube. Turn it around. Hand me another beer, buddy. You just, I just handed you a beer. Slow the fucking boat down, man. Holy shit. Oh, I'll turn it around. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop. Oh, I'll Where, turn I, it around. I can't see them. I can't see them oh, now. Oh, I see them. They're there floating in the water. Okay, slow down. You're running right at them. 10. Slow down. Hang on, kid. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, Hang fuck. On. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Boom, 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 boom. Did you just run over my daughter in the boat, ma'am? I don't know, dude. I've had like 15 beers. I don't even remember getting in the boat. I hated that cunt anyways, dude. <laughs> I don't know, man. I didn't realize that I was supposed to be the instigator in this situation. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You were just so driving, I was like... You were driving the boat too fast. That, yeah. was, that was good. You were the instigator. No, I know, but like, I would have set it up better if I had known. I thought it was... Like, I thought I was going to be reacting to your weird thing. Oh, no. Sorry. Spread your legs for me. Let me see your butt. Nice. Okay. I just thought, I thought it'd be funny if uh, dad drove the boat too hard while he's tubing with kids. Do you have any parting words? Um, I don't want attention from old men. Fair enough. Stop texting them then. Yeah. And that's a simple solution so that it won't happen to you. So, boom, we figured it out. Yep. How, I learned my lesson. How good do we feel? You have any parting words, Liam? I. I'm working on myself, man. I feel like I come in here sometimes. I say a lot of stuff I don't mean. Sometimes I wake up and I don't feel like myself. Today's one of those days. I don't know what's going on. I don't either. And uh, I, I feel like this isn't my life. Yeah. I feel like I'm just like, like a brain inside this body that's like being thrown around by the, the by a hurricane and I'm just kind of like going along with what I where it throws me yeah I'd like more control I'm trying to get more control I'm trying yeah. trying to get discipline you control. could hurt animals start like that would make me feel something we'll blow torch on a little rat in the driveway that would probably make me feel in control and disciplined complete control yeah or, like, maybe I'll just, like, uh, sneak into my neighbor's house while they're sleeping. Not even, like, I won't even, like, touch anything. I won't even do anything. Just, like, be in there. Be just in knowing there. that you could change the, their lives and the people around them's lives forever. Yeah. Just knowing that it's, it's a possibility. Being in their space without their permission and without them even knowing ambivalent power it's like gene Cousineau from barry showing up to that uh, audition with a loaded gun <laughs> yeah, yeah. just to feel in control yeah it's a good move could be the move could be the move thanks guys for listening thank you i got a dynamite character for next week i'm very excited about it i can't See what, is, what is this surprise gonna be? it's got a, oh the surprise you'll like it it was good i already know what it is I don't think you do. Bye. 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 Thank you. 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 Bye. Bye.